My dress says Nostil Goda, which means the root of all evil. <laughs> hey guys, it's Heli and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be ranting about some things that I think we should have been taught in schools. And I know a lot of you guys have just come out of school and I really think that these things will help you. And once you realize these are the things that your school has not taught you, I think you should start learning them by yourself. These are things that I have learned by myself and I would like to give you a heads up and also rant a little bit about the school education system we have in India. Honestly, I went to a really good school and some of these things were actually, like a couple of these things were actually taught by some awesome teachers, but not all students get such awesome teachers and I really feel that I have been privileged in that way. First thing that I think schools should be teaching students is how to face failure. Schools reward you for coming first and second and third. They reward you when you score a prize abroad but they don't reward you for the efforts that you give in and I think that's way way more important than scoring something and I, I really hope that schools someday teach students about the value of effort and the value of trying and not just winning because Honestly, winning is the destination, but the efforts and the trying is the journey. If students only look forward to the ending, they probably won't succeed as much if they think about the process. And that is something I think schools should be teaching us. But since they don't, you should be doing that yourself. So don't look at the end, but also look at the journey. And if you fail at the end, it's okay. I'm pretty sure you have learned something from the journey itself. And that in itself is an enjoyable process. The second thing I think schools should teach you is time management. Honestly, there were school teachers who gave us schedules, but it's honestly not possible to stick such schedules all the time. There are so many things to do. I think time management is the most important thing in the world because time is something that can never come back. Time once spent is spent. You can gain back money, you can gain back fame, you can gain back almost everything but not time. Time does not wait for anyone. And when you can't manage time, you probably can't manage anything in your life. And the only time management we learned in school was how to finish writing our ISC and ICC paper in three hours. And I don't think that has helped me in any way after I passed out. There are some awesome books for time management and also for a lot of these things that I'm going to tell you guys about in today's video. Right now I can't mention them because honestly I've forgotten them. So I'll leave them in the comment section below or I'll leave them in the description or maybe I'll write a blog post. The third thing that I think schools should be teaching us is finances, taxes, budgeting. We did have a project on budgeting but honestly that did not help much because you know it was all about adults and we had to had, have our parents do that so it, it was not helpful at all. We learned nothing about taxes. We learned nothing about taxes and once you are in your professional life you will understand how important taxes are, how important budgeting is, how important investing is and I, I had no idea about these things and I honestly did not know these things exist. I had this idea that if you don't pay your taxes by March, you will be taken to jail because I got my ideas about taxes and finances from movies, guys. So if your school does not teach you these things, I think it's high time that you start doing it for yourself. I have come across some amazing books on taxes and budgeting and investment. My favorite one being The Intelligent Investor and I really think you must be reading it. Fourth thing I really wish schools taught us is how to be happy. You know, I was so sad in class 11 and 12 because there was so much pressure. And while I was being constantly told that you have to do well because you did well in class 10, like that was the only reason people wanted me to do well because I did well in class 10. But it's like, I was not happy. I took a stream that I was not happy with. And although it was completely my mistake, nobody forced me. I really think that encouraging me at that point of time to do what I want would have helped me better better than asking me to do well just because I did well in the previous year. This was the sort of pressure that I was having from everyone around me and I forgot how to be happy. I only knew how to get marks. I only knew what I need to do to get marks. I did not do a lot of them anyway though. But the thing is you forget being happy at a certain point of time unless you really really like what you're doing which is not the case for majority of us students. And how to be happy in that sort of a situation 
is something that schools should teach us and honestly i don't know how to do this yourself happiness and learning to be happy is a never ending process and it's always okay to be unhappy it's okay but i think happiness is something which is easily attainable if only you know how and i think schools may start teaching that the number 5 thing i think schools should teach us is how to sell like whatever job you do you will have to sell there's no business there's no job that you can do without being able to sell everybody is looking for value in this world and unless you know how to portray what value you can provide you will not sell well and if you don't sell well you won't make enough money and obviously we don't talk about money at all when we are in school except when we go out with friends and friends ask us for a treat and that is definitely not the best way to talk about money i feel like selling is an art and this art must be taught in schools because schools especially in the city that i live people have this mentality of jobs like people or oh, everybody wants a job i don't like this sort of mentality and even in jobs you need to know how to sell and selling is such an important thing guys there are so many awesome books i love this book called the art of selling or i think the joy of selling i'll attach a link in the description below and it will teach you exactly how to sell well and once you have mastered the art of sales you can make as much money you want in your life constantly coming back to money and finances because mostly parents send us to school to acquire that thing and that is equally important in our life as much as happiness is because money is important for financial freedom but most of the times i don't think school prepares us for making money as much as it does for making marks and i think that's a huge huge defect although i must say my views are mine own and if you differ that's completely fine i'm not putting shade on any particular school this is something that i have discussed with a lot of friends and a lot of my subscribers and learned that these are the things that we have all missed in our school life the next thing that i think that schools should be teaching us is related to selling but also with happiness and that is how to communicate i think that communication could have been better when i was in school we did have co curricular activities where we had debates and extempore speeches but most of the times we were not prepared for it we were just asked to come and give a speech that doesn't work that way we were just asked to just do a debate and it does not work that way any sort of speech any sort of communication requires practice in the future when you are in a professional field you will need to be able to communicate your thoughts properly otherwise you can't do anything in your life trust me on this you can not be a brilliant person but if you can communicate well you will do far better from a very talented person who does not have a shit idea about what he is trying to say the next thing i think school should teach us is how to respect others so the thing is i have seen this especially in my previous schools how teachers were actually very involved in making fun of students when uh, and i think that's totally fine sometimes it's totally fine but when i see teachers making jokes of st upon students who scored less grades and making them a butt of their jokes throughout the year i felt really 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 bad because you know it's not his fault that his brain is not like einstein we should not be making fun of students who are not brilliant in terms of grades which brings me back to the next thing that school should teach us and that is thinking beyond the grades all my school life it was all about hey how much marks did you get and even though i am not in school anymore i am in college every time every day i get a comment or two where people ask me hey how much did you score in your isc and icsc exam is that any of your business no has that helped me in any way not really the only thing that my grades have helped me to do is to get into this particular college but at this point of time the thing that i'm focusing on it does not even require anything that i've learned from school and the grades are the last thing that matters the only thing that matters is the english that i've learned and a little bit of maths that i've done so honestly the grades don't matter as much when you grow up and you realize that way too late so i really feel that when teachers constantly tell you that okay you can score 90 you know you can score 95 you know yes probably i can but how would that help me 
teachers should probably be saying instead hey i think you can explore this concept better hey i think you can read these these and these books to understand this better you know it's always about marks it's most of the times about marks which i really really hated about school life second last thing that i think school should teach us is to how to love what you do now even if you are pursuing something that you really like or love doing not all of it is worth loving so i love making videos but i hate editing um i hate getting ready for a video i hate like preparing a script and you know doing the research because oh it's so time taking and oh god um uh, it's just not so much fun as it seems and i'm pretty sure no matter what you are doing even if you initially liked uh, doing that even if you initially liked what you were going into eventually you realize that you don't love all of it and i think loving what you do makes things so much more easy and that is something schools can teach us but you can obviously learn this all by yourself by trying to enjoy the little things that it has but if it was taught in schools it would have been really really great because i think schools don't prepare us for practical life as much the last thing that i really really would love schools to teach us is how to add value to the world you can't make good money unless you add value to the world and how do you add value to the world right now the value that i think i am adding to the world is propagating the idea about books and spreading the message about how books can be so awesome and can change your life but i was not taught that in school and i was not even taught how to find that value that i can offer to the world in school the only value that children are taught most of the times to offer to the world is how to become a doctor and save lives or maybe how to become an engineer and get a really really great job and do all these amazing things but not everybody wants to be a doctor or an engineer duh so yeah guys these are the things that i think schools must teach us now i have been very lucky to have had an amazing bengali teacher in my school honestly i did not really like uh, bengali as much till uh, she came to our class and she actually changed the way i see everything there are a lot of things that i mentioned that schools don't teach but she taught a lot of them honestly especially about loving your life and loving what you do and you know being happy and i am very very privileged to have got a teacher like her i won't say the name because i would like to maintain privacy but uh, i really really feel that if you have such teachers in your school please make sure that you are talking more with them please ask them for more ideas please ask them to you know share their experience with you because even though schools don't provide a lot of things you will find amazing teachers in your life who will change your life and i have found some amazing teachers like that and i'm pretty sure so will you if after watching this video you think that there are some things that your school must teach you and it's not doing that please do it on your own if you need any help leave them in the comment section below if you think there's something that you should have been taught in school and you were not let me know in the comment section as well and i'll try to help in any way as i can i'm not saying all schools do this i'm not saying that teachers are bad i'm not saying anything like that i'm just saying that most of the times the system does not prepare you for the practical world the professional world that you will be entering just four or five years after you leave school and i actually entered it while i was in school so it was way more difficult for me but i think that was probably why i matured so early is because i'm not even 20 and i think i know quite a bit and compared to other classmates of mine i think i can be considered you know more mature and i'm very proud of that and yeah that's basically it i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up just to leave this video on a note of positivity i would also like you guys to leave one good thing that your school has taught you my school actually helped me discover who i am because if i had not been so frustrated with my school if i had not been so frustrated with education i would probably not have started making videos and reading more books and i would not probably have been here today so yeah guys thank you so much for watching today's video and thank you so much for being with me in my journey and i hope that we'll go a long way together till my next video bye bye